Hello, and welcome to Key Questions. My name is Chris, and I would like to know, what is your story? In our previous video, we talked about the importance of personal branding, and how it may be thought of as your own personal headline. Remember, a catchy headline, as well as a personal brand, should be ultra-specific, unique, and useful to other people. When people have become intrigued with your brand, you need to move quickly to tell them your story. But before you do, you better make sure you understand the difference between a story that is informative, a story that is valuable, and a story that is persuasive. The story of your professional life is best thought of as a call to action where you skillfully persuade people to engage with you. Professional social media platforms, such as LinkedIn, provide its users with an opportunity to share their story in a profile summary. Moreover, this summary is one of the first things that people see when they visit someone's profile. But there is a catch. Typically, only the first couple lines of the summary are initially visible, which brings us to the first tip for writing a persuasive professional summary. The opening statement of your profile summary better have a hook. The first sentence needs to not only capture the reader's attention, but must compel them to click the prompt to read more of your story. Now I know this is easier said than done, but start by thinking about what makes you unique. How do your actions and past achievements create value for others? Take the necessary time required to answer these questions in one sentence that will persuade people that they need to engage with you. Now that you have the reader's interest peaked, use a clear structure that guides them through to the end of your profile summary. For example, after your catchy opening statement, move on to your mission. Explaining to people the why behind your actions will help them get a deeper understanding of you as a person and your values. This type of information also allows people to become invested in you, both cognitively and emotionally. Next, describe the skills and experiences that you have gained or currently developing to realize your mission. You should also be mindful of what catches the attentions of recruiters and hiring managers. For example, according to the National Association of Colleges and Employers, problem-solving skills, teamwork, strong work ethic, analytic and quantitative skills, along with writing skills, were among the key attributes that employers want to see on student resumes. But be careful. Don't turn your profile summary into the experience section of your resume. Focus on the most impressive aspects of your current skill set and experiences. Moreover, try to use keywords that are relevant to your career goals to increase your visibility on LinkedIn. After that, write a few lines about your life outside of work and or academics. How do you enjoy your spare time? Are you a member of any teams or organizations? Do you do volunteer work? Give people an opportunity to connect with your interests and values. Finally, close your professional profile summary with a call to action. What kind of connections are you seeking? So I would like you to remember these three key points for today. One, a profile summary provides you with an opportunity to present and promote your professional life. Yet, equally important, is the use of a friendly and approachable tone that encourages people to connect with you. Two, break your summary into sections that do not exceed three or four sentences. Concise writing combined with a clear organization structure allows readers to quickly identify the key attributes in your professional life. Three, gaining employment should not be your exclusive goal. A persuasive profile summary can be a very effective way to broaden your professional network. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to talking again about how you can develop your job hunting skills.